Okay, so we're, 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 we're rolling. Not streaming, but just rolling. This one's going to be a kind of a quick one, guys, for the most part. Quick one. If it isn't, I'm sorry. Kind of. <sighs> Alright, so... <sighs> we have this interesting little uh, tidbit that crossed my desk, of course. And uh, Joy's at it again. She's trying to blame Nick Mon. Big rumor revealed! First she was going to hype it up as a live stream, and now big rumor revealed because of, jo of course, Joy has no self-control, so she's frothing at the mouth to start shit wherever she can. And unsurprisingly, unsurprisingly, her target again is Nick Mon. Now, keep in mind, Nick Monroe is, if you actually look at his Twitter, he is doing other things. He did, like, the last time that he actually remotely cared about Joy or Katie or whatever you want to call her, Obishion, Onishion, whatever. Onishion, there you go. Um, you know, the last time he actually cared about her was enough to just post a picture with him and a few other people just like, hey, just to kind of screw with her and troll her. And then after that, they were like, their tech plans for joy. Do nothing, sit there and laugh about the first one. I mean, usually most sane people take a hint. And they realize... This person is messing with you and kind of parodying the fact of just how delusional and paranoid and obsessed you really are. And I did try to warn the guy that she is an obsessive freak. And here you go. Again, she's an obsessive freak because now she's trying to rehash out something for sympathy and all that shit. Oh, she's being picked on. No, she's not being picked on. She's not being bullied. She does this crap to herself, and this is a prime example. Carnival Barker style. Oh, I'm going to hype up the crowd. Mystery information is being revealed, folks. And it's something that was already basically struck down, what? How long ago? Because she tried to claim that Nick Mon had struck down her channel. And now what she's saying is that it is a privacy strike. Now, I can actually comment on this, because a couple of streams ago, when I was talking about um, Zones' crew and Kimmy Cat, uh, someone actually tried to file a privacy strike on that. And, of course, there are only a couple of people that know about this one. Because I was like, oh, this, this happened, this is funny, this is great, I reviewed it, there was nothing to it, whatever, I don't care. Because really, what was there to care about? Not a big deal. The whole world is not out to get Phil. Oh my god, someone put a privacy strike. Whoopsie freaking do. And actually it wasn't a strike. It was just one of those, hey, they claim privacy. And I looked at it, there was nothing to it. Okay, cool. Life goes on. I went about my day. It wasn't some big Twitter thing. Actually, the big Twitter thing lately for me was the Great Frog War of 2017 where there were no casualties and lulls across the board. And frog pictures, so any of you that are into frogs, I mean, congratulations. You really struck, you struck gold there. Um, oh, and uh, I learned from all that that apparently I look like, um, oh, what's his face? Um, why do I not remember it now? Um, the guy that played uh, Severus Snake. Snape. So apparently I look like a movie star. Oh, thanks. Sure. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> it's great. It really is. It's great. <sighs> um, yeah, a little bit of runny nose today, but that happens. All right, so... But the point that I'm trying to make here, before I get too sidetracked with all that stuff, uh, the privacy strike thing that she's trying to hype up, Joy, if you're using that as your proof that Nick Mon is out to get you... Again, you're a freaking loony. Loony little munchy. Munchy Lavania. And I say this because I have my privacy violation notice. And uh, do you know what it says? It says that one was filed. It says the timestamp that it was filed. What it does not say is the person's name. So, citation needed. I can actually talk about it because someone recently tried to do that on me, and it was laughable in itself, but that aside, it doesn't give you their name. So how can you say, oh, it was Nick Mon that did this? You can't. There's nothing to back up your claims. 
like most of the crap that comes out of your mouth. It's all mystery information to be revealed later, and they just don't know what they're talking about. Ignore the man behind the curtain! It doesn't know what he's talking about, shit talker, trolls, snakes. When you have to keep using the same excuse for everything, folks, over a decade, the same excuse. No variation. I'm sorry, but all of your critics are not shit talkers, snakes, etc., etc., etc. Although I did like the the uh, tongue in cheek. Uh, be careful who you trust because they could screw you down the road later. Um, uh, if anything, I would call that a, a projection warning. <laughs> because if anybody's gonna screw you ten year, uh, ten years, or any amount of years down the road, it's gonna be her. Just as long as she can string you along, she will, but then she's gonna throw you under the bus and park the tires on top of your skull and sit there telling the world how you're the bad guy. These people are fucked up, man. Really, really, really fucked up. But again, I'm debunking this. This has been filibusted because, quite frankly, she's full of it. There was no... that, that in itself... Oh, I got a strike, so it must be Nick Mon. No, that's paranoia. Get mental help. You need it. And your fans? The ones that keep defending her when you can tell that there is, she doesn't have a leg to stand on? The ones encouraging this crap? Get mental help along with her. Because there is no excuse at this point. It, you you literally will per, you literally will back up whatever she says. I've seen the comments. I've seen your attempts to troll, and they're about as messed up as she is. So you can take your declarations of war and shove them. You can take your attempts at social engineering and shove them. You can take your your attempts at trolling and shove them. Because dear lord, it, it, there's nothing funny about it, guys. Come on. Oh, and you can like each other's post a thousand and one. A cult is still a cult doesn't help her. doesn't help you, doesn't hurt me, it's just a thing. You know, just, just in case you weren't aware of this. But, before I go rambling on too long on my little soapbox here, again, Nick Mon has moved on to other things, so the fact that you guys keep insisting he's part of some axis of evil makes you look like a bunch of childish morons. And it's your own damn fault. Nobody is ever going to take you seriously as long as you keep obsessing over people that haven't had anything to say in a while and said, look, we're doing other things, deal with it. Like, you can look at his Twitter. He is dealing with video games, he's dealing with some stuff involving, I guess, Gamergate. He's dealing with a whole bunch of other stuff. Not one of those things is Joy-related until she inserts herself into the scene. Keyword, she inserts herself into the scene. Hmm, where have we heard that before? So no, Nick Monroe is not a part of the Axis of Evil, I'm not the boogeyman, and people aren't out to get joy. This is a case in point of how delusional and paranoid this woman is. Joy, you're a no-talent hack. Let's just call it for what it is. Bouncing around in front of the camera and swindling large amounts of gullible people, some of them willfully so, is not talent. It's just a freaking dumpster fire. It's a walking tragedy. I guess some people might find it funny, but what it is is talent. Hell, I don't even call this talent. Come on now. You know, <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me, but I'll, I'll admit this doesn't take talent. I'm outright and upfront about it. You're actually deluding yourself to think you're some big deal. You're not. I'm not. None of us are. Okay? It's time to get over yourself, and especially over this delusion that everybody's out to get you. Yeah, you've pissed off a lot of people, but if anybody's out to get you, you're out to get you. And the people in your own camp are doing more damage to your cause than anything any of us could ever do. Meanwhile, you maintain your plausible deniability. Oh, I can't control my fans. You can control the ones that are close to you 24-7 that are doing the majority of the shit that you know and encourage. So, so, now that I've filibusted that crap, maybe we can get on the rest of our day, and hopefully some more people see you for the raving, delusional, no-talent hack, paranoid, psycho that you really are. As long as you keep trying to pull this shit, these kinds of things are going to keep happening. So, your little rumor exposed has kind of gone the way of the Titanic, much like your YouTube career. And quite frankly, 
I can't think of anybody more deserving of it than you at this point. You did it to yourself. Not me, not Nick, not uh, Chambers, not Based Mama, not any of these people. You did it to yourself. And as usual, it's everybody else's fault but yours. So, you earned it. Have fun. Keep trying to uh, carnival barker up your uh, fans. Keep trying to manipulate your fans. Keep lying to their face. And don't be surprised when you get called out on it. And don't be surprised when people see through it and laugh at you for the walking joke that you are. Um, maybe you should lift a few weights with that ego of yours. Might actually be able to work enough to go sit outside even though you can take jugs and what, all this other stuff. So how long is it going to be before... Uh, before you turn around and do one of these again where you're so sick, guys, because you need a little bit more uh, sympathy manipulation. Remember that? You did that on live stream and you were, like, so terribly sick until uh, enough praise hit you and then you're like, oh, hey, guys, I'm feeling a little better. Come on, guys. It's obvious. It is right in front of your face. It's time to see it for what it is. Cheers. <laughs>